Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to play PlayStation 2 ISOs off a USB onto your PlayStation 3. So there's only a few things you really need for this video. You need to have Multiman. I have already got this installed, and the chances are you probably have this installed as well. You also need a USB stick, and you also need a PS2 game of choice. So make sure you go and get your PlayStation 3's USB. Go and connect this to your computer, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to Mana Guns in the description of this video. This is what we're going to use to get the PlayStation 2 ISOs working on our PS3. So what you guys want to do, you want to look where it says Mana Guns right here, um, version of 4.84, and we just want to click on download. This is going to download the package file that we need to install. So it's not really um, a large file, so just wait for it a couple of seconds. It's around 15 megabytes, and um, as you can see, mine is done downloading. So what I'm gonna do is go to my downloads folder and find where I've got the package file. So here is mine, and we're gonna make sure our PlayStation 3's USB is plugged in, and we're just gonna drag and drop this package file across. So again, very small file, just wait for it to copy across. Now, we also need a PlayStation 2 game of choice. Right here, I've got Fatal Frame 3. Um, this is a PlayStation 2 ISO, of course. This one is about, let's see how big it is. This one is about, I think it's about two gigabyte. Okay, so this one's about 2.89 gigabyte in size. But what we have to do is go onto our PS3's USB. We have to right click, new folder, and we have to call it PS2 ISO. I actually already have one of these, but just call it PS2 ISO, just like that. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to delete it. I've already got one. And basically what we want to do is drag and drop our game inside of the PS2 ISO folder. So back to our downloads, get our game, and just drop it into PS2 ISO. Now I've already done it because it takes some time to copy across. But as you can see, here is my Fatal Frame free game. Now also with these games, it doesn't matter what region it is. This one is USA, and I have got a Europe PS3, so it will work completely fine on that. And yeah, that is pretty much it for your PC. All you need is the Mana Guns package file and your ISO. You also need Multiman, but um, you probably have this already. So let's go back onto my PS3 and let's install our PlayStation 2 game. Okay, so once we're back, go over to the game section and let's go and just launch up Multiman. So once Multiman loads up, what we have to do is actually scroll over to the retro section. And now if we scroll down, we should be able to find our PlayStation 2 game. So as you can see, here is mine, Fatal Frame 3. What we're going to do is actually press X on this. It's going to say, would you like to transfer the file to your internal hard drive? If you wish to play them, go on to yes and press X. Now what it's going to do is transfer it from our USB onto our main PlayStation 3's hard drive. Uh, this can take some time. It says three minutes there I mean maybe that's right so we're just gonna wait the three minutes that it's telling us to wait and um, I'll be back when it's done okay so once it finishes loading it's actually just going to exit us out of multi-man and we're going to be back on our PS3's home screen and as you guys can see we now have a PlayStation 2 format disk now don't load this up just yet first thing we have to go to package manager press X go to install package files go to standard and we're looking for the mana guns package file so here is mine we're going to press X and then just, it should just start installing very quickly. Once it's done installing and it says install complete, you can press circle to go back. Next, we need to scroll up and we actually need to go to memory card utility. From here, we need to create a PlayStation 2 memory card. So go onto this, create a memory card. We need to select PS2. Um, you get to choose PS1 or PS2. Obviously, we need a PS2 one. Press X, press OK, give it a name if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And um, there you go, we've now created one and it's assigned to slot one. If you have one already, you can press triangle on it and you can change the slot that it's assigned to. Okay, so we're going to go back and now what we can do is find mana guns on our home screen and we can actually just press X to load this up. And what Mana Guns is actually going to do is kind of like boot up like this. And um, we can go onto the PlayStation 2 section and you can find we've got Fatal Frame 3 on here and we can actually press X on this one. So then it's just going to reboot again and we can actually scroll up and find our PlayStation 2 format disk and we can just press X to load this up. And then it's just going to load up. So for me it's saying um, 
do you want to start the game with default settings? I'm going to do yes. Obviously the controls are exactly the same. Um, you can actually change the controls if you wish to. Um, because this is a PlayStation 2 game, we can actually customize it quite a bit by going into the settings. If you press the PS button on your controller, as you can see we've got quick game, controller settings, other settings, reset game, all of this kind of stuff. You can even change um, the screen I guess, yeah normal, so we can change it to full screen like that. So it's pretty cool, there's lots of different settings we can change. And there you go, we've got the full game running on our PlayStation 3. Um, so I think I can do a new game. Let's just give it a go. Let's just start. And yeah, here is the game. Works perfectly fine. Actually looks really cool on my PS3. I think I can skip this cutscene and I'll just show you some quick gameplay, I guess. But um, yeah, this is pretty much how you play PlayStation 2 ISOs on your PS3. A lot easier than um, the other methods. There's quite a few methods to get this working. This is the best method that I've come across. I'm pretty sure this supports all PS2 ISOs as well. Um, so yeah, it's um, really good. And let me just show you some gameplay quickly, um, as you can see. I can move around any second whenever this cutscene stops. There you go. As you can see, I can move around and it's perfectly fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you play PlayStation 2 games on your PlayStation 3. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.